Howdy. Susan. Joe Sam. Morning, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Out of the damn way. Hello. I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you. I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. A little can go such a long way. Every coin makes a difference in someone's life. I'm sorry. I've pressured you enough. Uh. I'm afraid I, I can't save the poor. Fair enough. You see, I've been poor. Charity never did anyone any good. I'm sure. What do I know? I'm just a fool making foolish choices myself. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hello. It's just through the market there to the left.
Why won't you just leave what me you alone? Calm down. I'm backing away, okay? Like I give a shit anyway. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Come on, you don't have to clean me out. They made me do it, I swear. Don't tell the police, please! I'm really not a bad man. Cállate, cállate. Hello. Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quién es? Ayúdanos. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Por favor. Please. I'm on your side. It's going to be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. Safe soon.
This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. ¿A dónde nos lleva? That's very good. Come to hola. Señor. Thanks, partner. Very well, then. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthor Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. To the grave with you, Bastille! Choke on this! You missed ah. the right man. Come on. No, no. This is a dream. He is off his nut. How could you? Please don't do this. No, no, this can't be real. Wow, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hello, mister. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat>
Hello, gentlemen. Hi, mister. Okay there? Hey. Hey there, partner. Hello, sir. Hello, mister. Neho. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Be careful, eh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. town you got here. I hear you. Anyway, all the best. You take care of yourself, man.
coin? Maybe two coins. Go get yourself something to eat. <sighs> Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. My book. My book about the path to eternal joy. Money. Be rich. Sir, madam, make something of yourselves. I love you and want to make you happy. Hello, sirs. Ain't no place for hillbillies like you in town no more. Hello. Mister. You know when you have one of those days? Not the truth. You're walking away from history, you fools! Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty? But somehow, I am not free to vote? Who says that? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met.
Hello, ma'am. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> I think it's acceptable to invade a woman's space like this.